Today, I really just want you to stick around because I believe the Holy Spirit is calling us to fast and pray in this season. Hey family, thank you so much for joining me again here on Latia Ashley. So today is a serious topic. I've been having quite a few, but I believe right now we are in a very serious season. I believe that the Holy Spirit is leading so many of us that are in the body of Christ to pray for the body of Christ, to humble ourselves, to seek God, to fast and pray for so many things. We need breakthrough in our nation, breakthrough in our families, in our own individual lives. We need to see the harvest come in. We need to see a manifestation of the Holy Spirit and, and to see the manifestation of God's glory. I believe that we have received the mantle of Esther. I believe that right now the Holy Spirit is leading so many of us, the body of Christ, to fast and pray, to humble ourselves, to pray on behalf of the lost souls that God wants to be led to the kingdom because we're laborers. Jesus is coming back and there's so many things happening right now and we really need to just seriously hone in and just be sensitive to Holy Spirit, hear what he has to say and do what he's telling us to do in this season right now. So as we know, Fasting is a very powerful tool that so many people biblically and even now have been using to deepen their relationship with God, to be a little bit more sensitive to the Holy Spirit and what's happening in the spiritual realm. Fasting is something that we are called to do as a people just in general. We are denying our flesh and increasing our faith to see the impossible take place. And when our spirit man is stronger, we believe stronger and we have more faith. And we know that faith is the currency of heaven. Faith is what God uses to move around in the earth and to do things that normally doesn't seem possible for us. So if we are fasting right now and we're praying for certain things and we're believing for certain things, then we need to humble ourselves. We need to deny our flesh and we need to increase our spirit and to increase our, our faith so that we can see what we are believing God to see, especially now in our nation, especially now in our country and in our lives in general, we need to see the hand of God move. And so what better way to do it than to fast and to pray? So if you remember the story back in Matthew 17, 21, where the disciples were trying to cast out a demon and they couldn't do it and they asked Jesus, well, why couldn't we do it? And he said, but this kind of demon does not go out except by prayer and fasting. And so we have to remember that sometimes we're praying for things and we're believing for things, but we're not seeing the manifestation of what we're praying and believing for. Well, sometimes we just need to humble ourselves and fast. And right now, I believe we're in a season in our lives that we need to see the hand of God. We need to see things shake and change. And I know for me personally, when I have fasted and prayed, I've had seen breakthrough. I have seen some miraculous things take place that I know couldn't have happened without God moving. And I believe that sometimes we may fast and pray for things and we may not even see the manifestation right away. We might see it a few months down the road, maybe even a year or two down the road, but we don't always know everything, but we have to do what we know to do spiritually. And because we are truly spiritually spiritual beings, we have to operate in the spirit. The story of Esther, powerful, very popular story of Esther is another way that shows that when we fast and pray, we are also fasting for protection. So if you look up the scripture, Esther 4, verse 15 through 16, it'll show that example of how she had called the people to fast and pray so that she could go before the king, which was, unspeakable it was not against protocol it was against protocol and if she did it that she could actually die and perish and she was willing to do that but she said if you guys would just fast and pray with me for three days don't eat nothing don't don't drink nothing i'm gonna go before the king and i believe we received that same anointing i've been seeing esther story everywhere i turn it's like i'm hearing it 
here and there. I'm seeing it here and there. And I just believe the Holy Spirit is saying, you guys have received the Esther anointing. You have received the Esther mantle. In the story of Jonah, remember he was called to tell Nineveh what was about to happen. And um, he warned the people and the king of Nineveh or the leader of Nineveh called the whole nation to fast and pray. And um, that was in Jonah 3, verse 7 through 10. It says, The king of Nineveh ordered every person and their animals to fast and cry mightily to God. Yes, let everyone turn from his evil way. So God moved, or God was moved by their reverence, by their humbleness, and he showed mercy by not destroying the city. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, there's so many examples in the Bible that tells us that sometimes when we are seeing things and we're sensing things and Holy Spirit is warning us about certain things, we need to seek God. We need to humble ourselves and we need to pray. So I am asking you guys to join me on this uh, journey, to join me on a fast. Um, and of course, I want you to pray. There's specific things that I'm asking you to pray about. Uh, obviously, we are praying for a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us that in the last days that he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. We are definitely, we are desperate to see God do these things. We are desperate to see God's, um, God's kingdom in the earth. This is what the Lord told us to pray for. And we, we want to see the people come to Jesus. We want to see the lost come to Jesus. We want to see them saved. If Jesus is coming back any day now, within the next year, months, few years, I don't know exactly. Obviously no one knows, but we know he's coming back soon. And so we want people to be saved. So we want to see him move on the hearts of the people around us. Peace. For peace to guard our hearts in this season. I believe this year um, we've been dealing with a lot and a lot of people have been hurt and they're going through a lot of difficulty. You may be one of them, but we want to pray that God will just give us peace in this season. We want to pray that God will just strengthen us in any area that's weak. We want to pray for God's protection. Of course, definitely that. Okay. There's so many different rumors. There's so many things spreading around in the media, um, all over the news, but you know, we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. And we have to believe and know that God loves his people, that he loves us and he listens to us when we pray according to his will. So as we're fasting, we're gonna pray according to his will. His will is not for us to be harmed in any way, but he wants us to be humbled and to really um, seek the justice that needs to happen in this nation. We've been acting a plum fool. And so we just need to get ourselves right and we need to stand up and do what's necessary to bring righteousness back into the land. We also want to pray for wisdom and discernment to operate daily. You know, we need God's instruction these days. We need God to give us wisdom on what to do, what our assignments are. We need wisdom to hear uh, what is it, God, what do you want us to do? I mean, a lot of times we can get so caught up in our normal day to day. We go to work and we're trying to take care of our families and all that's good. And, you know, it seems necessary, but at the same time, we have to remember to seek the kingdom first and all those other things will be added to us. So what is God saying to you to do when you're praying and fasting? You want to ask God, what is my specific assignment right now in this season? Not what it was last year or two years ago, because I believe God is always moving. There's so many different fasts that you can do. I personally, I am led to fast like the Daniel fast. Um, so I don't do meats and sweets most often. I might once in a while, but if I'm doing a fast, I wanna be strategic and hear from Holy Spirit what type of fast that I'm led to do. You guys may be led to do another fast. You might be led to do just juice, just a juice fast, which is powerful. Every fast that you do, if you do it spiritually and you do it according to how Holy Spirit leads you, it's going to have some results, I promise. Um, and so you might be led to do a juice fast. You might be led to do a Daniel's fast, or you might be led to do a dry fast where you're just doing nothing or maybe just water um, or even a digital fast. You might be led to just come off of social media 
and come off of um, TV or entertainment. Whatever you are led to do, just do it in this season. Don't delay. If Holy Spirit is telling you, I want you to start tomorrow. Now that you've seen this video, you're being held accountable. Um, if Holy Spirit is telling you to do it next week, do it next week. Right now, I'm making this video. Election time is coming. There's no better time for us uh, to fast than now and to just hear who God wants us to vote for. A lot of times our flesh might get in the way and we may say, oh, this person is a better candidate and this person is a better candidate. But what is God saying and what is he um, requiring of us or who is he telling us to vote for? So um, when you're fasting, keep that in mind. Pray about the election. Pray. Ask God to give you the desire to fast and help you to stay committed to the fast. You know, also while you're fasting, I want you to pray for other people. Pray for yourself, for your family, pray for your loved ones, your friends. And when you start your fast, um, it's a good idea to make sure that you're having your morning devotionals, your evening devotionals, or just spend some time with God in the word of God and sing worship songs, sing to the Lord, worship him with spirit and truth or in spirit and truth. And throughout the day, ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to what to pray. So a lot of times we can pray what we want to pray, but Holy Spirit has some specific things that he wants to pinpoint. So it's a good idea to pray in the spirit. If you have the gift um, of tongues, if you can pray in tongues, I encourage you to pray in the spirit during this time. I believe that me um, and quite a few people in this country or all over the world, we are watchmen and we are here to warn the people of things to come. And I am making sure that blood is not on my hand. So it's my job. If I hear things or sense things, I'm just asking you to do your part. While you're fasting, a good thing to do is make declarations. Make sure you're decreeing a thing, declaring a thing according to the will and purpose of God that you are not speaking um, that you're not speaking things that are negative or speaking against the will of God, against the word, but you're speaking in faith. Challenge yourself to pray more often than you usually are. Like if you are used to praying maybe once a day, try praying at least two to three times a day. Um, I have a tendency of trying to just commune with God and talk to him throughout my day. I could be washing just dishes. I could be uh, cooking or just waking up or uh, driving, you know, just talking to God, having a regular conversation and praying intently about specific things. And then also hear from Holy Spirit, hear from God. What is he saying? Write those things. Be on guard. Understand when you're fasting, there is an enemy who is always looking to steal, kill and destroy. So don't let the enemy steal your peace, steal your joy. You know, go at this with fervency. Understand that God is with you. And if you're doing this, obviously, for the right reasons, then no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So uh, if you feel attacked in any way, just come against it in the name of Jesus and know that you have spiritual help. Angels are with you. Fight. Fight in the spirit. Continue to pray in tongues and do what's necessary to get through the fast so you can be victorious. And if you can, get together with your people, with your tribe, with people of faith, you know, ask them to join a fast with you. Um, I feel led usually to start on a Monday because it's the first day of the week. So if I'm going to fast, I'm going to fast starting Monday and I might, I might do it for three days, just liquids only. Or if I'm doing a Daniel fast, I'll start the Monday and then um, do it for 21 days, just fruits and vegetables. However, the Holy Spirit leads me to do it. Um, that's what I'll do. But this challenge right now, I feel led to do three day fast. I'm gonna do liquids only. Um, and if I do juice, it's only gonna be 100% juice and a lot more water than I'm used to. Um, and of course, I'm gonna be just continuously, uh, just concentrating myself, just stayed um, indoors and, um, just be in my word, be in my, my prayer place, my secret place, and just spending time with God and praying fervently for all the things that I mentioned before. Right now, I'm just gonna pray. I feel led to pray for you 
Um, so Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, I just thank you for every watcher, every person viewing this video. God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would guide them into your truth, God. I ask that whatever you lead them to do, that you would give them the strength to do it. Father, I ask that you would just um, speak to their heart, speak to their mind, give them wisdom and understanding on what to do in this season. Holy Spirit, I just ask that you would protect them in every way, protect their household, their family, and bless them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited about what's going to happen and take place. 2020 is going to end in a good way. This year, we just believe for the best. I declare the best of God. We're going to see signs, miracles, and wonders happen. So join me on this fast. Comment in the comment below. If you feel that's a fast, what kind of fast are you planning on doing? Um, like the video, share it with your friends and family, and um, you know, have an accountability partner if you're going to fast. Have a friend join you in the fast um, and pray. Write down what you're praying for specifically. Put that in the comments below. Connect with me. I love to make new friends. I love to communicate and um, share with one another. So you can email me at latiaashleyg at gmail.com. And um, yeah, everything else I'm going to put in the description box. I will put scriptures in all of the above. <sighs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? God bless.